Hello, my name is Daniel Rossier. I'm professor at the Business and Engineering School located in Yverdon, Switzerland. I will give a short introduction about OpenCN framework, which is devoted to real-time and multiprocessing numerical control systems. Let's start by understanding what are the requirements of our framework and what are the challenges we, we had to face. Um, First, the um, flexible CNC uh, needs high-grade real-time architecture uh, with customized algorithms, uh, meaning that we take into account we are taking into account uh, the surface control for components manufacturing, high precision and machining speeds, for example. And so the system is working on either CAT field bus uh, using a distributed clock between the uh, master and slave devices. Uh, the FTCAT, uh, EtherCAT is working on 10 kHz with um, low latency, of course, and uh, jitter as small as possible. Um, we also want to support different types of machines uh, with their own characteristics. For example, the number of axes, uh, type of kinematics, applications for subtractive and additive machining, etc. Uh, specific manufacturing and optimization algorithms using the uh, JIR control. And JIR control requires a fast floating point operation as well. So from the system perspective, we also have different constraints. Uh, that's why we have to manage uh, user applications and hard real-time tasks on the same machine. Um, we also want to be able to run the framework on recent Linux kernel and so drivers as well, uh, especially for the network uh, interface. And uh, of course, we want to, to have a full open source CNC uh, framework. So a starting point, we considered Linux CNC uh, framework, uh, which is here since 2011, and uh, already has support for hard root time extension like AirTag, Xenomai, or RTPreempt. However, the Linux kernel version is pretty old and it's based on uh, several gigabytes of files uh, because of uh, heavy distribution. And um, there are also very complicated architecture involving the uh, user and kernel space uh, interactions. Uh, EtherCAT support is not very stable over a long time. And uh, we decided to revisit the architecture of Linux CNC to move towards something more easy to, to uh, approach and to uh, develop. So one of the major characteristics of the OpenCN framework is that we are using uh, the AM AMP asymmetric multiprocessing approach, meaning that each CPU has dedicated activities, especially CPU1, which is able to run uh, hard time tasks only, um, and CPU0, 2, and 3, uh, only non time activities. Uh, that's why we needed to patch uh, the XMMA extensions, more specifically the Cobalt uh, kernel. We also use uh, build roots uh, to build our own customized root file system, which is very lightweight uh, compared to a uh, heavy uh, Debian distribution, for instance. We also have a clear separation between the user and the kernel space, meaning that all hard return tasks are running in the kernel space on CPU1. Um, and finally, this is more easy to upgrade to the new version um, of the kernel, uh, the, the Linux kernel. And it's also more flexible to add components uh, at the different levels. So here is um, the big picture uh, involving the two uh, domains, uh, the non-real-time domain, which is at left uh, in this figure, and the hard root time uh, domain, which are activities running on, on the CPU one, as we said before. Um, we have the communications uh, between the two domains uh, using uh, soft interrupts between the um, CPUs, 
um, these are low level mechanisms uh, which uh, can be used to drive um, even based um, and asynchronous also uh, events between the two uh, domains uh, so the synchronization uh, can be achieved that way uh, and in a very efficient way <coughs> Okay, uh, I'm gonna describe now uh, the major components of the OpenCN framework. Um, first of all, we, we have kept uh, the, the main uh, core components within the kernel uh, from Linux CNC, uh, like the, the hardware abstraction layer and the real time API, for instance. Um, the HAL uh, defines uh, the so called uh, pins um, components, which are logical signals. Um, which can be used to bind the other components uh, together and, and uh, writing and reading information in real time. Uh, the streamer component is used uh, for reading file uh, containing coordinates um, that could be generated by MATLAB application, for instance. Um, the sampler component is used for generating different values uh, during the um, manufacturing. Uh, this could be used, for instance, for feedback processing. And uh, the threads component uh, is used uh, for starting uh, at different activities uh, within the kernel. Uh, th these components uh, were actually uh, present in the Linux CNC uh, framework. Uh, then we have developed new components uh, like LCCT. Um, the LCCT component um, allows the uh, orchestrations um, between the different uh, components uh, within the kernel, while the LCC uh, is used to orchestrate uh, at the cat activities and um, to implement the distributed clock uh, mode B um, in to manage the coordination between the uh, master and the slave devices. Um, the LCSC also uh, is also um, based from existing codes uh, coming from uh, AGH and um, FIDOPT um, implements uh, all of the uh, geometric optimization algorithms, feed rate planning, uh, including jerk uh, optimization. Um, FIDOPT uh, also is able to uh, interpret uh, G code. Uh, in a simple way. And uh, last but not least, uh, OpenCN can be run uh, on an emulated environment based on QMU using the uh, x86 uh, emulator machine, uh, which is also able to run several CPUs, uh, so four CPUs uh, is okay. Uh, QMU can use a virtual disk image to um, access the uh, root file system and uh, it's it's very very helpful uh, for debugging purposes and to validate also uh, new functionalities uh, it helped a lot uh, to develop uh, internal uh, activities and um, also to um, emulate uh, the network uh, interface also using the uh, master is a cat uh, from the functional point of view. We don't have uh, emulated slave devices so far, but it's something uh, which could be interested to develop in the future. So we are at the end of the presentation. Uh, please feel free uh, to contact me if you need further information. I'm available um, at daniel.rossier at hg-vd.ch. Uh, okay, thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye-bye.